Hello, bonjour. In my webcomic Pepper and Carrot, I have a lot of scenes of magic. So I came up with a technique to make some more turbulences in the special effect. And today I want to share this technique with you. So let's get started. So I will select a brush. This is the basic flow one from the default preset. And I will create a new layer and pick white color. Then I will do some squiggly like that and maybe some emitting. So the Batic Flow is interesting because it has some opacity variation and you will see that it will be important to create some depth to the effect. Then to add some turbulences to our random brush strokes, I will go to Filter and start Gimmick QT. Yes, again. Then I will go into the deformation and in deformation, I will select the crease filter here. The crease filter has mainly two controls. First one is the amplitude and the amplitude is a bit like the strength of the effect. The more you put and the more deformed it will be. And the less you put and the more back to normal it will be. Just slight turbulence on it. I will put it back to 30 like that to get a bit of effect. And the frequency is a bit like the resolution of the effect. The higher you put the slider and the more grainy you will get and the lower you will get more like big wave of transformation. So for high resolution artwork, I advise a very low frequency, like three or four, maybe like that. And an amplitude you can go as crazy as you want for your creative process. For this illustration, I will put it around 37 like this and press OK. To finish our effect, I will add a little glow to the line. Right click on the layer, layer style. And in the layer style dialog, I will select outer glow here. And I need the, the outer glow to be a little bit stronger than the default. So I will play for this with the size first, maybe 60, because we are on a high resolution artwork. And the spread also is important, maybe 20%. And yes, I start to see now a glowing around all my stroke. And I want to give them a little color. So for that, the blending mode color dodge will do a better work, a little bit more saturated than the default. And I will select a color. I will pick a color that match my illustration. My character receives some bluish light. So I will go for maybe a blue like that. It's like a teal more than a blue. And press OK. So here you see I have a little color red glow. Maybe I can go a little bit more saturated. Like that, this is okay. So I press okay. And then as usual, you need to do some little paint over to enhance your effect. So for example, this part here is a little bit too blocky. I need to take the eraser with the E key and I need to sculpt that a little bit. This part doesn't connect to anything. So maybe it's good to make it connect to another energy thing. So this way you can make some complex magical effect.
So that's all for today. I hope you learned something and you will put a lot of turbulences everywhere on your magic. But not only, I use that also on the edge of the panel of my webcomic and also on many other places you will probably discover if you watch Pepper and Carrot. So see you next time. Bye bye.